welcome to another Hunter One production. Graphic hunting videos ahead. Please leave now if you do not wish to view. Welcome back everyone. In this episode, we will be chasing rock chucks with the Savage Predator 110 chambered in 22250. The yellow-bellied marmot, also known as the rock chuck, is a large, stout-bodied ground squirrel. They typically live above 2,000 meters or 6,500 feet in elevation. Hibernating burrows can be up to 16 to 23 feet deep. However, the burrows constructed for daily use are usually about three feet deep. While they may look harmless, they can carry various diseases that you do not want any part of. Additionally, they are related to ground squirrels, and you know how I feel about those. So in this episode, we will be taking them out. Hello everyone, uh, Hunter One here with you guys today. Out here with Eric, Mayor in Idaho. Just uh, completed my first marmot hunt, uh, rock chucks for those of you who call them that. And I gotta tell you, it's just been beautiful. It's been amazing, uh, first time out here and it's just it's just everything that I thought it would be. Um, as you can see, there's a, a marmot here in front of me. That one was taken at 352 yards. Uh, I'm using a Savage Predator 110, chambered in 22250. Right now I'm running the Hornady 53 grain V maxes at about 3,689 feet per second and you can see it really did a number on this guy. Um, a little bit about this rifle is that we put a lot of work into making sure that they are accurate and it really is. It's just a tack driver. So um, I'm more than happy with the way that it's performing. Uh, a little bit more about it on the end here. You see it comes, it didn't come with the muzzle brake but I put a whip machine on there and it really tames down the uh, minimal recoil that it has and uh, just increases the accuracy just that much. I have a 24 inch fluted barrel on there. Um, really gets hot because this, this gun runs really fast. So, but, it's, but it holds its accuracy pretty well. I have a 20 MOA base on there and I'm sporting the Discovery EDPRS 5 to 25 by 56 first focal plane scope. It's a 34 millimeter tube and it lets in quite a bit of light. So taking those long shots, you can definitely get it done. Um, with the Hornady 53 grainers, I'm averaging about, I say about a half inch group. My best group ever was 0.237 at 100 yards. So, and it, it does it over and over again. So um, high level of confidence here. Uh, this also comes with the adjustable comb. It comes with all that stuff, length of pull. It has the uh, Savage Accu Trigger on there, which is a great trigger. You just feel every stage as it breaks. And just a, just a great rifle, um, making for a great hunt. and can't wait for the next one. In this episode, the rifle is set up in this current configuration. However, when I return, I changed to an MDT Oryx stock and I really like the look of it. You will be seeing a lot more from this one, so stay tuned. Okay, that's enough talking. Let's get into the hunt. Rock Chuck number one was taken at a distance of 352 yards. I quickly realized that the projectile was impacting higher than I thought it would. This is directly attributed to the fact that the range that I sight in at is just above 1,000 feet in elevation. Where we're at today, we're above 6,000 did not run my chronograph, but what that means is that I am probably running a little hotter than 3,689 feet per second, elevating the point of impact. So this is my first hit on a rock chuck, a marmot. 
I took him at 352 yards with my uh, Savage Predator 110, Chamberlain 22250. Running the Hornady 53 grain VMAX at 3,689 feet per second. Looks like uh, he drug himself down a little bit. His initial hit, when he was hit, was at 352 yards here. And yeah, that did a number on him right there. And then he drug, he drug himself down, not too far, right into this area right here. There we go. There we go. Lights out. 22,250. And this guy was how far again? 352 yards. 352 yards. And that's what 22,250 does at 352 yards. Okay, guys, this is my first marmot rock chuck. Taken at a distance of uh, 352 yards. You can see him. Hit him with the uh, Savage Predator 110, 22,250. Shooting Hornady 53 grain V Max at 3,689 feet per second. And there's the results. Up top, I have the Discovery EDPRS 5 to 25 by 56 SFIR, and it is immaculate. It did an excellent job at, you know, even at this shot at 352 yards, it was just as clear as you ever wanted to be for a shot at that distance and again you can see the results so he's lights out first marmot ever here's another rock chop taken at a distance of 214 yards Let's view that again in slow motion. There goes the vapor trail. He's done. I know this terrain may look easy, but we are literally on the side of a mountain. And one wrong step could change a good hunting day into a bad hospital day. Here's another rock chuck that was taken with the uh, Savage 110 Predator 22250, 214 yards. And there's a setup. In this chase, you have to give me a pass. I was on very uneven terrain and balancing on one knee. But as you can see, we still got it done. There it was again in slow motion. And he's definitely lights out. And here's the result of the Hornady 53 grain VMAX at 3,689 feet per second. Yep. I don't even know how far he was, you guys know? <laughs> Once again, I'd like to thank you for watching. And I'd also like to thank Eric Mayer from Varmata Magazine for some of the awesome clips that you've seen in this episode. As always, please click like, subscribe, comment and ring the bell to be notified when new videos like these are uploaded.
See you again next time. Hunter One, out.